What's the time for State of Decay 2 Heartland? Time to get back in with episode 15. I only got one shout out because I haven't even made episode 14 or Nightmare Zone episode 24 public yet. I'm trying a new way of tr uh, improving the efficiency of my uploads, but let me give the shout out to Squiggly Mint who is, uh, I believe, a newer viewer, and if not a newer viewer, then a newer commenter, because I don't, I don't recognize him. Seemed surprised when I responded to him, but I try to respond to everyone within 24 hours, uh, unless I just cannot think of anything to say, or if YouTube doesn't tell me that somebody commented, which normally brand new comments, I am, they, they show up, but if someone replies to a comment, those don't always get shown, just because uh, they can get buried very easily. But, uh, yes, so shout out to Squiggly Mint. And yes, I am trying to find what is the best recording schedule to maximize the free time in the day, because one of the things about making these videos is it just bogs the computer down quite a bit. And I've got a pretty powerful computer. I bought a computer specifically so that it would be able to handle processing videos especially lengthy videos and it still has the issue that it eats up about 50 percent of my cpu and doing anything else just slows it down so once the computer gets rendering the computer is basically out of commission we gotta find more building materials for this dump so junction this is dr hoffman let's let the dialogue go Marshall, and be careful on your way here. Okay, don't start the party without me. The sooner you're here, the better. Okay, so today I know what this episode is going to be called. I'm going to call it Property Damage because today we're going to go around and just destroy stuff. We're just going to clear the valley of. The zombie's property is going to be just the complete wipeout. That is our objective. So we're going to go load up two people. And uh, we're going to use Izzy as my main character. But first I'm going to load this guy up with whatever high-powered weapon that doesn't matter. Let's have him use the Barrow-style bar. Give him some decent stuff. Plague Cure. And he's going to carry two bundles of distractions. And I'm going to partially, I'm just going to partially outfit him because I, I don't know what Isby's loadout is going to be. What are you doing? Climb down. So, because we don't have access to really good explosives, we're going to have to burn them. And burning, you know, the damage occurs over a period of time. It's not up front. So we're also going to want to shoot it. And I want to use a shotgun because they do decent damage. And we've got a lot of shotgun shells. Seems like as good a reason as any to use shotguns. Let's get a whole bunch of napalm grenades. Oh, not the willies. We want those for the actual hearts. Let's... Mm, do we want to save these for the... Nah, we can use these against the hearts. Let's go ahead and make some distractions. Good. Get some fuel bombs in case we need to burn some of the distracted zombies, but for the most part, we just want to... What if we brought some of these in order to deal with a possible juggernaut? Uh, that should be good enough. Let's repair this weapon. That's in proper order. Now we can go get Chavez. If you wouldn't mind coming with me, I need some help. Orale. Hey, Izby. 
I'm right behind you. Seems like he's uh, happy to see Isabel. Chavez got a thing for her. The tone of his voice is, uh... Has a slight playful tone. I like company, but this is getting ridiculous. We need to expand. They seem like they're of a similar age, so I guess I wouldn't be too surprised. Let's get this thing grinding up some stuff. Do we have... Why don't we just do backpacks? Like, let's get the fabricator some use. Let's make some backpacks. What color do we want? Go on. None of these are my favorite color, so... Go with blue. That's the secondary color on my channel. Okay. And what are you using, Isby? What's up, Chavez? Okay, you already got a good backpack. Hey, Isby. Lead the way. And we want to load him up with more gear for blowing stuff up. Maybe a med kit. This place is twice the size of my last. <laughs> Let's go, uh, let's, what's our supply of chemicals? We only have two chemicals left, so we're not going to be able to readily build any more napalm. So what can we build? Does anything not require, uh, molotovs are so weak, they just do not do the job. Pipe bombs are okay. And we've got the, um... We got the ammo for him. What the hell is wrong with these morons? Oh, someone's getting grumpy. Oh, yeah, let's load up on some extra grenades. I'm gonna live in a giant booth. Ooh, or maybe a castle. What's up, Chavez? We could also... <laughs> this fabricator just can't get going. Let's just build one of these, just for the heck of it. Let's build a, um... Kind of expensive, but yeah, we'll make our parts back eventually. There. Where are the adapters at? Oh no, let's just put a choke on it. There. Tightens up the aim a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're going to go out, blow some stuff up, do some looting. Probably should take the uh, trekker in that case. Very nice. And, or should we actually take the survey car, because then we'll be able to reveal... Yeah, let's take this, just so that we can make sure that we find every last remaining thing. Leave no stone unturned. What's its fuel level? Needs to be refueled. Hey, yep, yep, don't want to talk to you right now, Chavez. I can take these, and I can assign a fuel. Survey car, fuel. So we're looking for two things. We're looking for... play guards to destroy, and we're looking for materials for the base. Those are our two things. Because I believe we have all the characters. And we're also trying to get Isby up to her hero status so that we can get an extra outpost. And then we can resolve our betting issues with a little bit of materials and... What do you call it? Uh, a little bit of materials and an outpost. These are standard zone play guards, so they should be a lot easier to deal with than 
Nightmare Zone Plague Arts mainly in the reinforcements area. So the first thing we'll do is just I wonder if that's actually blood I'm tasting in the air. Just toss a distraction. Get them off of us. Really? Start burning it. I don't know about you, Chavez. Let's throw another one in. Uh, okay, we're good. It's all good. G getting set on fire is, uh, it's part of the strategy. It's no big deal. Wow, this weapon doesn't reload very quick, does it? So what did we get from this? That's something we didn't take into consideration, the actual looting of the Plague Arts. Okay, new strategy. Chavez is going to be the guy who actually recovers the gear. And Isby's going to be the one who... holds the equipment for destroying the... Where, where'd my vehicle go? So it looks like it's going to take two... two napalm grenades and, uh, you know, some shots from the shotgun. Oh, let's get the Fabricator running again. You know, I wish you could, could just kind of have this on an auto mode where it would just constantly do it and you didn't have to manually activate it. Let's see if What's-Her-Name's ability is maxed out. Nope, still has some ways to go. Oh. That's right, it's Chavez who's going to be the one who picks stuff up. As you can see, Chavez is barely damaged, which is interesting. Put this away and just hold that, because he's not going to be like the the character who's being actively used. It'll give us one more slot as well. What's up, Chavez? You do notice that he had barely any damage despite getting set on fire, and it's not like he put himself out. He didn't actually make an attempt to put himself out. Like he didn't do the roll. The, which I guess is the State of Decay 2 version of Stop, Drop, and Roll, but yeah, he didn't do anything to put himself nice. out. Which is why I think uh, AI-controlled guys, I think they just have more defense. They're not as affected by injuries. Well, well, this looks promising. Hola, senorita. Okay. Grab everything, Chavez. Grab it. Grab it all. Okay, where is... Let's go over here and grab uh, some of that. I, b I bet Isby actually... Okay, she's almost at hero status. Is, like, Chavez, like, allergic to shooting his gun or something? Go fight that guy, Chavez. Be useful. Let me loot. Oh, I think I hear a bloater. Raspy bloater voice. Or it could just be a zombie voice. Yeah, it's just regular zombies. Okay, Isby is now at the hero status, which means uh, when we go back to unload our gear, we'll swap her out with another character that needs standing. This could really help us. Good. 
Some of that stuff is worth grabbing. Ooh, another one, jeez. Where's Chiave? Well, I'll just give it to him. Give the rucksack to him. I doubt we'll find a third one, though. I guess that's everything here. Hey, we kind of want to grab some of this stuff. Got room for one slot. Uh, then I want the scraps of circuitry. There's those little parts and whatnot. We can live without those. Grab these samples. It's gonna be kind of annoying constantly activating this, I'm not gonna lie. When I'm paying attention, I, I always let the zombies attack first, because you could just assume that they're going to make a quick attack and just get a free hit on you. So normally what I do is I run up to them and just let them attack and do a dodge. Okay, let's dump all this stuff off so that we get his inventory cleared up. And we'll leave the samples on him because... What's up, Chavez? He's just gonna wind up getting more. Alright, so now we're gonna empty out... Isabel's gear to let someone else take her place. And we're also going to swap the rucksack in. Like, the one she's wearing will be to warp to the base with her. Let's have her guard the base with, I don't know, AR-15 looks good enough to me. And who do we want to get hero status? He'll give us an ammo per day, a food per day, materials per day, maximum health, fuel efficiency. Let's go with this one. Maximum health sounds pretty good to me. Actually, I got an idea. Let's go ahead and get rid of Chavez's crazy thing as well. We'll pull Diana in and basically give the rucksack to Diana and then swap her back out and she'll warp to the base with the rucksack. Hey, what's up? Now we can switch back to Vic. Put all of this away. Let's build another backpack. Of course, we're going to build another blue one. Hiking backpack on. Get our shotgun out that had a decent capacity to it. Our equipment, our healing items. Get some of those out. Let's get some of these out. A whole bunch of napalm grenades. And... A plague cure, just in case. Actually, I think he is. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to it. I don't see the harm in it. Let's use... Ultra Light Axe, I guess. What are we going to put in that final slot? Hand grenades. Use hand grenades to clear the plague guards. Okay. Make sure we've revealed all of the buildings here. There's no mysterious buildings, no stone left unturned. So we got something here.
How do we get down there? Is there a way? Okay, let's take the main road. I lost my whole crew in this valley. And that shit still keeps me up at night. But you... You lost your whole family out here. You must fucking hate this place now. That was an opportunity for you to say something, Isaac. That was an opportunity for some dialogue. These are the little missed opportunities of State of Decay 2 Heartland is... That was the perfect opportunity for a little bit of dialogue. Opportunity lost, however. Okay, let's, um... Yeah, that's the airplane. Let's get back on the road. I would like to get away from some of these zombies so I can look at my map. Let's just go straight forward. It doesn't look like we're missing. It looks like we've revealed all the stuff over there. Okay, it's basically just across this field. Yeah, but yep, yep, yep. Get back on the road. Harder to see at night. Harder to get things done at night, but you now the show has to go on. We should be heading to Marshall now. Anything interesting? Yes, we've got a uh, play guard at the Bronto gas. We are just going to get right on that. Squish some of those guys. Now where's that plague heart hiding? Toss it. Here for a job. Time to do it. Where is the heart? Just blow it up with some hand grenades. Fire in the hole. Wanna get blown up, Chavez? Then you're just gonna get blown up. Really? Still alive. Oh, we forgot to get ammunition. That's what it was. That's a good chunk of, uh... Good chunk of stuff there. Right, your turn, Chavez. Hey there, Vic. Pick that, uh, that hand grenade, uh... Oh no, it's not the hand grenade, it's... It's, uh, gas inhalation. You'd think it was the hand grenade, but... You would think wrong. See, that's why, uh, that's probably why Red Talon got wiped out. You know, they're concerned about things like friendly fire when the real way you defeat zombies is just, just blow, blow them up. Even if your guys are right next to them. That's the, uh, that's the real way you deal with the zombie outbreak. Just blow them up regardless as who's there. Like, just pretend no one's there. Let's, uh, drop this stuff off. And also get some shotgun shells since... That is apparently the item we forgot. Okay, for all this in. What did we get? The P07 Pro? Nothing too spectacular. Well, why don't you just carry some of the extra... Well, that's that's why we're due. He's the guy who's carrying the items. Where's my shotgun shells? Oh, this shotgun is not the fastest reloader. Not the fastest reloader.
So, we have buildings we haven't revealed. We've got that. Maybe we'll do the quest while we're here. Oh, whoa, whoa. We got this flatbed just blocking us off. Zombies getting nosy. Getting nosy. That's the problem with zombies. They're just so nosy. It's like, why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you mind your own business? I'm trying to do important things here. Let's just throw one of these out. I kind of don't want to waste my napalms on them. I don't know if that killed him. But finally, he starts shooting his gun. One behind me. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I value shotgun shells less than I value my uh, chemicals, so we're going to go ahead and... That's how you know this is standard zone. Like, the, the, the enemies actually fight enemy, the, the AI. It's in Nightmare Zone, man, they, uh, they don't want to hear none of that. Okay, Chavez, let's pick this stuff up. Go ahead and use one of your mid thingies. How can I help you, young man? Let's, uh, you know, take a few minutes to reload. As this weapon takes forever to get anything done. Good capacity, though. Smaller infestation up ahead, so... Should be easier to deal with. We also have another outpost available. Though, we do want to claim one of these nearby houses to... Alpha Zone, the Plague Wall. Because I believe this is our... Hey there. I'm up here. On the roof of the fire station. Let's blast some of these zombies. There we go. Shoot him, Chavez. You got infinite ammo. How am I missing this guy? Oh, he's like puking up all over me. Is it really bad? Doesn't seem to do that much. Interesting. It did give me an injury, though. What, what kind of injury did I get? Uh, gas inhalation. Go ahead and swap out. Start picking up some of these things. So that must have been the new Screamer's, like, projectile vomit attack or something. So let's take, um... Why don't we take the house that... Where is Alpha Zone at? Let's go locate Alpha Zone. Uh, let's switch back to Vic. This is just generic plague wall material. Let's just take um, 
I mean, if this was good enough for Alpha Zone, that Fire Marshal's house should be good enough for Alpha Zone. Claimant. I just got this outpost together. How can I help you, young man? Goody, good, good. Let's get some more ammo. Oh, let's repair the weapon as well. Good. So, let's go see how the doctor's doing while we're here. If you didn't understand why I wanted to take that instead of this one, it's because uh, we're trying to resolve our betting situation. Hey, I know that guy. Where is the exit? Could be a door. Here's the door. There's that weird porch that I sometimes have trouble getting up, so we're just gonna go around it. Come on. Up the ladder, you can do it. Time for you to see what we're up against. Oh my. Get up on that survey platform and look for a plague wall in the direction of the courthouse. Okay. Will do. See that plague wall? Oh my. That's how you get in. Get Alpha in Zone. Fire. I heard Captain Logan call it the gauntlet. So I suppose that name is as good as any. Now look again. Past those barricades in the middle of town. It looks like another plague wall. If my theory is correct, it's ground zero for whatever has infected Marshall. I need you to get in there and figure out what's going on. And that saves the valley. Perhaps. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before you can get through those walls, you'll need plague busters. Oh my. A lot of them. I need to stay here to observe, so I can't be your supplier. Instead, I'm sending you to retrieve some equipment that will allow you to craft your own plague busters. A new infestation? Okay, that obviously spawned alongside the mission. So off we go. I have a feeling this one is going to be much, much harder to do the, um, the plague walls. And that's because our equipment just isn't as... The, the available gear we have just isn't as good as what the other one was. Oh, wow, we've got a lot of good choices here. Uh, let's go with Power House. He yeah, has vigil. What's vigilance do? Search speed, durability, enemy detection range. Someone with powerhouse and resourcefulness. That would be like the ultimate, the ultimate thing for engaging the plague walls, because you'd be able to carry more stuff and you'd be able to drop kick the ferals. This is the spot. Let's look around. This location was to be my primary lab. Things didn't work out. Get in there and uh, clear out these zombies. Throw a firecracker in there just to get them all in one spot. Wow, even with a shotgun, I can't hit people with guns. Yes, I am the shotgun marksman. They are not ready for my shotgun marksman skills. My infestation is cleared. I'm looking around now. Understood. Keep me apprised. A horde. Probably should deal with it. Yeah. 
Chavez, I guess he wants to save ammo, doesn't want to use his Barrow style. Even though he's got that perfectly good... I think part of the problem is, like, it's... Shotguns feel really weird to me in third person. Like, when I think of a shotgun, like, it's, like, up close. I like to be in first person. It's like, that's one thing I've noticed, is that the closer they are to me, the harder it is for me to hit them with the shotgun, which should be the opposite issue, but... I think that's just the thing with third person, because, like, I don't have a problem at all with shotguns in Halo. Got mad stuff in here. Alright, guess we'll loot the researchers first. Come on, give me something special. This is the, uh, those weird kind of creepy notes. We've already read all of them before, though, so we're not going to do that. In fact, I don't think we're going to take anything from that guy. Same thing, yeah, I just read it briefly just to see if it was indeed the same message, and it was. So nothing new there either. So we don't want anything from those guys. That's too bad. I was hoping that they would uh, at least have an item worth grabbing, but... There's so much stuff here, and I don't want to take the time to just get absolutely everything. We definitely want that. Set of motorized targets. We got a rare weapon. Let's take it. Those are interesting. We'll take the ammo as well. I wish they would give us variety. I think we've gotten three Echo S7s. Uh, more of that is fine. Hand grenades are good. More ammo is fine. You just take this plague cure and use it. Probably can leave that stuff behind, though. Well, should we? Heavy duty cure is pretty good. Isaac always blamed himself for everything. If I had a bad day, it was because he didn't make me happy. I tried to tell him the world is just the world, and he didn't make it that way. But. I can never get through them. Hmm. A lot of good stuff here. I meant to go back to the car and drop some stuff off. Okay, that's apparently the wrong car. Was that thunder in the game? The game doesn't have weather. Okay, we need to move the vehicle closer. Let's put the gun, let's put that in. And, I don't know, let's just put the ammo in. And then let's move the car closer. We have a feral who is approaching our position. This looks like it'll either have uh, fuel or nothing in it, so let's just grab it real quick. It did, so let's give you the rucksack. What is Chavez's full name? Oh, I see, so he called him by his first name. I was like, who the heck are you talking to? Leaving that, leaving that. We want that, and I'll take the ammo. Oh man, it's hard. We can't stack the ammo. Let's see what the rest is before we start cramming our inventory full of garbage. 
There's that. Go. I found it. Excellent. You can install that Oops. device anywhere in your base to get it up and running. Ah, good enough. Get back to base. Continue our mission. That will allow you to manufacture plague busters from the poison glands you harvest. Actually, we need to empty our loot. If you need assistance locating plague bloaters, call me on your radio. I should be able to help. Shooting. Um, let's go with weapon handling. Since I don't, I don't imagine assault helping us really at all. But uh, not having to repair the weapons is much good. I. I mean, it's not super valuable either. Probably got to fight that juggernaut. Let's go ahead and tell your sniper to cover me. I think I'm gonna need it. I got this one. Two takes four hits. Three. Four, and now we'll get our refund. There we go. Or takes 50 to call it in. Takes 50 when we get our juggernaut back. Ah, uh, wait, this is not the right person. Hola, amigo. Lead on. Throw it in, throw it in, throw it in, throw it in. Day is breaking, so we're, uh, do, everything's going pretty good. Too bad this isn't Nightmare Zone, because then I would get a hundred instead of... Oh, I forgot about these. We can put these in as well. Give me that rucksack. How can I help you, young man? Okay, now we can switch back to... Let's grab some more shotgun shells as well. Gotta have more ammo. So someone asked if there are the same amount of play guards in this game mode as... the standard stage decay. I think there's fewer. There's really not that many play guards overall. And you do get a nice morale bonus for destroying them all, plus some extra loot. It's also just something to do. I mean, we're trying to kind of milk a little bit of okay, more time out of the DLC. You're on your own. Oh yeah, here we go. Play guard time. Get out of my way. Out of my way, all of you. Let's get rid of uh, them with this. Switch to my grenades. Where is it? Oh, wait. In the wrong building. Wait, where is it? Am I just blind? I just dropped off a couple things I found while I was What? Dying. What? Just off. Ready? Where, where is the heart? No, you don't. I'm not complaining, but I think we have a few areas. Why is it turning red? Okay, hold on a second. Okay, now where's that plague heart hiding? Look, is. Okay, maybe it's actually in here. Chavez knows the way. He wants to go and uh, fight it in melee combat. We can we can always trust Chavez. Here it is. Oh, get off me! Fire in the hole. Let it start ringing or crackling. Okay, there we go. Definitely 
get another one in there. Okay, I think it's on the ropes. Nice. Pick is now a hero, which means we can swap him out. That extra 20 health. Hola, amigo. I hear a lot of noise outside. That might be a horde outside. Oh, we need to loot this area too. It's uh... Oh my god. Let me get to it! Let me get to it! Okay, we can loot it from a distance. So we got a replica sword, a M1A, strong painkillers, stimulants. Now we can kind of cheat to see if we've destroyed all the play guards by looking at, uh... Don't want either of those, like, parts aren't a problem anymore. Our base is falling apart because we don't have parts. I don't know why it's falling apart, considering that we have the utilities building that removes the depletion of uh, materials. There we go. Let's give it to him. Come on, there's five lootables in here. Where the heck are they all? Getting impatient. Getting impatient! Oh, good. Not this. Okay, let me look with my eyes instead of my mouth. I've already seen that one. Maybe it's outside. Okay. Do a quick run around. Can I get up here? Nope. Maybe in the back? Where is it? Curse you! Where is your loot? Reveal yourself to me! Are they, like, just gonna be really tiny containers? I'm about to give up. I'M ABOUT TO GIVE UP! Let me turn my flashlight off. Maybe the... Oh my gosh. I don't know where they are. Thought I saw one for a second. This place is just haunted. It's not my fault. I, I, I'm shifted. The blame is being shifted away. It, it, it's lying. There's not actually five locations there. Let's check this place out. This place is bound to have some parts. Oh wait, it's because they're technically connected together. What? Oh, is that why the plague art was supposed to be here, but it was actually there, but it marked... This game is weird. Yeah, I don't know if I've told you guys that, but this game is weird. This game is, uh... It's not right in the head at times. Yes, Joaquin? Yes, Joaquin? Orale! Put this in the trunk. break. If we lose meds and uh, food, it's not a big deal. We're just growing so much of it because of that, like, ridiculously powerful farm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We got some people here. Nosy! Nosy! Mind your own business!
Come on, give me some materials before my base falls apart even more. Materials! Um... I think we need those. Oh my god, fast loot! Fast loot! Take that. Fast loot. Fast loot! Oh, come on, he just had two bars left. Hola, amigo. No, no, I don't want to talk to you, Chavez. I'm trying to leave. Now we gotta make as much noise as possible, as usual. We're leaving that behind. Don't have time for it! Don't have time for it! Give me that. Abandon ship! Go back here. And dump this stuff off. Is he inside? Okay, good. Never know with this AI. Those like rats? A little. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought I ran a plague blade over for a second. The deadhead plague's gonna creep up on me. Another juggernaut. Looks like juggernauts really aren't that profitable to fight in standard zone. Ugh! Terrible driving. Oh, we gotta go use our crazy factory thing. And we can also change characters, because this guy is basically done. Let's get him some standard gear. Put him on guard duty with... I don't know, like... Put him on guard duty with... Sure, fine. You can have this fancy gun. Who do we want to work on now? We get... More fuel efficiency, that's not too good. Materials per day, output... Uh, food per day, not important. Ammo per day sounds pretty attractive to me. What a, Did he, like, fall from the sky? Oh my god, he fell from the sky! And he got an injury from falling from the sky. I thought they got rid of that glitch. Okay, we're gonna need a new backpack. So let's calm the fabricator down. Backpack time. Of course we want blue. Blue is uh, the second best color. Oh, we didn't need it. But this one is blue. So, we did need it. Fashion is important. If, if you have bad fashion, it makes you vulnerable to zombies. Like, don't let anyone tell you else. Like, Fox said it, so it must be right. Get some grenades. Well, actually, let's see if we've destroyed them all. Looking for... Defeated the Blood Plague. Okay, so that means that there's still another heart... Somewhere, we just haven't revealed it. That means it's time to arm all of our these things, get a shotgun out. Uh, actually, let's re examine our ammunition state. Um, yeah, let's continue using the shotgun. Where did it go? Here it is. Let's repair it. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's check Chavez yes, out, make sure his inventory is clean. That's cool. Good to see you again. Uh, I thought that maybe it would be kind of military protocol with him. A lot. Believe me, Chavez. I understand. I'm not going to tell you to forget the people you lost. You just got to hold on to them in the right place. I'm sorry. Why don't you say anything in return? Those are the perfect times for them to have a little back-and-forth communication, but you know what they don't do? Have a little bit of back-and-forth communication. Let's, um, yes, refuel. After you. Bit 
55 minutes already? No, I'm not ending the episode until we've destroyed all, until we've revealed the buildings and done our stuff, so... Time to get back to it. Good to see you again. Vamos. In we go. So, buildings we haven't revealed. Buildings we have not revealed. I got a mission! We're not leaving until it's done. Oh god, my mission is currently to not get completely blinded by pine trees. I wish I could get this vehicle in my nightmare zone. That would be amazing. I would love this vehicle in the nightmare zone. I get so much use out of it. I get so much use out of it. That's how you know you get a lot of use out of it, when you gotta, like, re repeat yourself, but you gotta, like, raise the, uh, volume of your voice the second time. That's how you know. That's, that's emphatic. It's emphatic how much use I would get out of it. Ugh. Okay, good thing we just barely bumped it. Nothing here. Okay, since we're running out of time... I don't even want to loot any more materials. Where could the building be that we haven't searched? That's a building we haven't searched. Hopefully this is the play guard. Otherwise, I'll have to scrutinize the map a, with a bit more slow pace to it. It doesn't look like it, or I would suspect I would have seen the billowing plague gaseous crap. Okay, so... Where could it be? You know what? We're just going to get out and kill these guys. Nosy. Nosy. Okay. So where could it be? Buildings that we haven't searched. Buildings... that we haven't searched. First we'll go through the outskirts. There's no way we, we we fully searched this area here. There's no way that there's no way other. Oh. Could that possibly be it here? I have my doubts. Now we'll check the interior. That's good. Where else could we look? Oh! Found something. How do we get there without... Ah, who cares how we get there? Uh-oh. That wasn't as uh, epic as I thought it would be. Curses. At least we know that there are shallow ways through this marshy area. Now entering farmlands. That's a uh, interesting name for a county or a district since typically they're named after counties and districts. Farmlands County, Farmlands District. And I guess it's utilitarian. Or they just didn't uh, come up with names for them all. 
Oh man, Juggy. Plague zombies in all directions. Okay, this has got to be the final one. Where are my busters at? Somebody remind me again. Why do I have to put up with this asshole? Better zip it quick, you trash talking fuck. Yeah. There's some aggression right there. Why did that guy? Oh yeah, the sniper still. Okay, let's finish the job. Oh my gosh. That was probably the final one. Let's see, we should get the bonus for it. Yes, there it is. See at the bottom, uh, defeated the Blood Plague. That means we have uh, destroyed all of the Plague Arts. Yes, Captain. Right behind you. Good to see you again. Oh my gosh. Want to loot. See, we get a backpack, combat knife, katana machete, preppers 1022. I guess Aunt What's Her Face was here too. Or, if we go with a more grim dark, maybe one of the bodies that formed that plague art was Aunt What's Her Face. Okay, oh my god. Faster. Loot faster. CNC, ah, we don't need CNC mill. What's up, Chavez? Give rucksack. Oh, what are you doing? Like, move. Let, let me not assume that the AI can handle these guys. Sometimes the AI is just really dumb. Okay, got all of Chavez's abilities unlocked. Where could the last one be? Up oh, here it is. Just make the maximum number of noise, Chavez. Just make the maximum amount of noise. Okay, where's our vehicle at? There it is. And let's end this episode with a bang by calling in a Clio relay and obtaining the rare equipment. I think that's just a great way to finish the episode. Also, not a bad way to increase your standing, because we'll have the opportunity to kill several of the higher value freak types. And uh, now that there's basically going to be no more missions for us to do, there's no more play guards for us to destroy, the main way we're going to get standing for our characters is by the, the periodic supply mission that appears every now and then, which is not a reliable way to gain standing. And by, uh, you know, just completing zombie kill objectives, you know, sub-object- Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, you know, like, destroying a horde will give you some standing, killing a freak gives you standing, but uh, the standing isn't all equal. The things that give you the most standing are feral kills and... Juggernaut kills, so... We want to make sure we get some Juggernauts and Ferals, and well... Turns out, turning on the Clio Relay is a pretty good way to do that. Also, the Clio Relay allows us to obtain pretty rare equipment. You know what, I bet the Fabricator's done. Just got a hunch.
New infestation, I guess that's another way to gain standing, but we're going to continue with our plan. Put this in. Put this in. That's a lot of guys. Oh, come back here, Logan. Logan! Logan! What are you doing? Good, just get back in range with me. Ah, oh, I wanted to switch characters, but... Okay. Where are all these bad guys come from? Like, just one day, it's like, it's time for some bad guys. Interrupt him. Next motherfuckers. That's a bad way to die. Okay, back to what I was doing. No, we still got one nosy guy left. Put that in. I think we can put the ammo in. We can put the fuel in. Let's just unload this and refit. Like, we don't need the combat to be as quite the scale. How can I help, sir? Right behind you. Same thing. Let's dump all this stuff out. A ton of samples. Uh, let's check the other vehicles, make sure there's nothing hiding. There are 15 materials. There, that should keep the base going. Medicine? Yeah, I can't put that in yet. Use one of these just to get him a little bit of health. Put two of these away. Get him some snacks. Switch. Dismiss. How can I help, sir? What weapon do I want to defend the base with? Thing, uh, how much? A better question is what ammo do we have available? This is the ammo that we have most readily available, so we'll go ahead and use that. Let's take off the attachment because the silencer just increases its damage and we don't need to be... Well, actually, it's a break. Leave the break on. Uh, we'll want some of these. Some basic explosives never hurt. Okay. Wait, don't we have something that heals all of our injuries or something? Six meds. Oh, it heals the entire community. Okay, I'm back up and running. So let's go ahead and I'm not used to live call for the Cleo drop. Now, unlike a typical Cleo drop, any chance Cleo could make a supply drop for me? These occur instantly. I'm on it. We should have a supply drop soon. This is Cleo. Connection established. We don't have to wait. Normally you gotta wait. Alright, we're connected. We need all hands on deck at home, because the signal I'm sending will drop plenty of deads. Oh no, not zeds. We can upgrade something. Let's upgrade this. There goes, like, all of the materials we acquired. Oh boy. 
It costs like 200 and something, I think 250 influence to activate it. But it's like 250 influence for a pretty good supply drop. We, you can get pretty good stuff. Fabricator fabricating. The main thing I want to do is stop these these guys here. I'm mainly looking for the freaks. I mean, if the zombies get in. It might seem like it's, like, not a big deal right now, but, you know, we got two minutes to survive. It starts to increase. Are you trying to shoot the bloater that's not moving? I'm looking for the freaks. That's what I'm looking for. I'm hoping that that bloater survives and then we can extract its poison gland. Got a bloater. Oh. Didn't quite get him. Guys are doing really good. I got look at this. I'm not doing anything. Uh, we're doing so good that Brock has time to talk about how big the base is. Look at this. Like uh, Logan's just like oh, I'm gonna have me a little stretch. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, gotta loosen up a little bit. It's interesting that we're not fighting any... Normally there would be ferals and a juggernaut by now. Look at that, the juggernaut spawned in our base. Kinda cheap. Why does he get the spawn in our base? Let's go around and pick off the random zombies that are just causing a problem. Is that a bloater? No, it's just a bad zombie. Come on. Oh, I should have been paying attention to the Juggernaut for the extra standing. Another poison gland. Damn, this base is huge. <laughs> they have so such bad accuracy, they can't hit these bloaters. I mean, it's working in my favor at the moment, but. As we don't back down, we'll keep winning. Okay, we can put these all in there. Package delivered. One, one, Tango, Mike, Papa, two, five. So this is what Clea would tell you in the in the original game. So it's kind of like a throwback to oh, oh look at this. It's transmitting what it said back in the day. It's nostalgic. Yeah, are you meowing at me? 
hope nothing heard that. Hopefully her voice doesn't wind up in my recording. What are you staring at, Kit? I have made it illegal for you to stare at me. Okay, there's where the supply drop is. Standing is getting there. Let's see what we get. Oh, building materials. We needed that. Breaching hammer, operator's M4A1, and a good amount of that. Some napalm grenades. Pretty good overall. And you get something different each time. It's random. I got a 50 caliber on one of them. So, I mean, and you could just call them in again. Like, there's, there's really no cooldown on it. Like, I could just... I could call it in right now, as long as you have the 256 influence. And that's just a great way to get some exotic equipment to prepare for the... All right. I'd say these defenses are as good as they can get. Let's hope we don't have to test them soon. I will be testing them plenty when I'm farming some gear. Probably what I'm going to do next episode is farm some gear. Plenty of red talent bases that were less impressive than this place. This base basically has it all. What can we do at eight materials? We can get that crackalack in. Get this going. Because that doesn't cost anything. We need to upgrade this. We don't have the materials for it. Just put this here. We can put it somewhere else if we need to. We can activate this because we always have tons of food. I'll activate that next time I log in so that we can keep them synchronized. And we're probably going to build these two things. I threw the shooting range outside just because that sounds like it makes more sense. We'll put the, the gym inside just to be a little thematic. But that's the end of this episode. Uh, we, yeah, we've cleared out everything. Obviously, we'll get an infestation here and there. We're going to continue maxing things out. I think that's what I'm going to do, because, you know, like, we, we've already seen the ending and whatnot. Why not take a little time to smell the roses and max everything out? Plus, it'll be good footage for when I do actually make the, the review on this base. But that is that. How many more people do we need? Oh, look at this. Someone gained some shooting skill. Good weapons handling. Anyone else have a skill? So we need fuel efficiency from him, so that's one. Materials from her, so that's two. Food, that's three. He's almost done, so we won't count him. So there's three other characters that we need to get their abilities, uh, their hero ability unlocked. And I I'm not going to level all of their skills up to the max, but, uh, there we go. Let's get in the pose. Anyways, that is the end of this episode. Ran a little over time, but, you know, uh, we got a lot done. Destroyed all the plague hearts, destroyed the existing infestations, did the final quest that unlocks the, the, uh, the gauntlet. Found some decent equipment, made some upgrades. Still need more materials in order to get everything maxed out, but otherwise, you know, we're kind of just wrapping things up. We're going to farm up some gear. We're going to see what those Cleo call-ins give us, 250 influence per call-in. And we'll try to get these guys the hero status, and that's it. Like, nothing else to say. That's that. Anyways... That's the end of this episode. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State of K2 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.